has requested the HP Omen versus the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now these are two Ryzen 7 5800H laptops and here are the benchmarks that are coming up in just a few minutes. First and foremost, let's jump into the user experience to see which one of these laptops stands out. Now as far as an aesthetics is concerned, the HP Omen is a little, little, little bit thinner. Not much thinner, but a little bit thinner. It's also slightly lighter than the Legion 5 Pro. And as you can see on the back of the Legion 5 Pro, we have three USB type A's and HDMI, USB type C and a network port. On the HP Omen, we have the network port, USB type A, HDMI, SD card slot, and the headphone jack. Now on the other side of the HP Omen, we have two USB type A's, a mini display port, and a USB type C. On the Legion 5 Pro, we have a USB type A on this side, and a USB Type-C on this side along with a headphone jack. So really where these two laptops stand out is the Legion 5 Pro has one extra USB Type-A and the HP Omen has an SD card slot plus a mini display port. However, you are losing one USB Type-A. Now, a lot of people say you don't need a mini display port anymore, but I would say that SD card slot comes in rather handy for video editors, photographers, and creative professionals as a whole. So port for port, I would lean towards the HP Omen with that SD card slot. Now, ventilation is the next area let's take a look at. We have a vent along the back of the chassis and both side panels, as well as the bottom cover. Whereas on the HP Omen, we have a vent on the right side panel and the back panels as well as the bottom cover. So there's slightly more ventilation on the Legion 5 Pro. And as you can see on the thermal results coming up on the screen, the Legion 5 Pro does a much better job of cooling the laptop than the HP Omen does. Let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. On the HP Omen, we have quite a bouncy screen, uh, whereas on the Legion 5 Pro, it's it's a lot more of a firm hinge. It doesn't let it bounce around as much. There is a little bit, but as you see, it quickly stills up where this one continues to bounce. Uh, the screen flex is also less on the Legion 5 Pro than it is the HP Omen. Looking at the keyboards, we have an RGB backlit keyboard on the Legion 5 Pro and a standard backlit keyboard on the HP Omen. Now I will say that I like the HP Omen keyboard and trackpad more. It's quieter, doesn't have that loud click as much, um, and the keyboard is just very smooth. I like the soft touch keys. This is still a great keyboard over here on the Legion 5 Pro, but as far as my personal preference, I really like the HP Omen. Here's a quick sample of each of them so you can hear what the trackpad and keyboard sounds like. Now regarding the color accuracy of each of these laptops, they're really neck and neck. They are so close. You'll see that the Legion 5 Pro is a little bit brighter, has a brighter, more vibrant screen, but the color accuracy and color gamut range are very close. So if you're looking for a brighter screen, I'd go with the Legion 5 Pro because that'll give you more brightness outdoors. If you, you know, find yourself working outdoors or more brighter environments, Legion 5 Pro will be beneficial to you. Now regarding battery life, they're actually very similar. I made a mistake in my Legion 7 video and said that the battery life on the HP Omen was not as good. This has been retested on bounce mode, keyboard backlighting off at half brightness, and I was able to get a lot more battery out of the HP Omen. And as you can see the battery results coming up on the screen, they're pretty close. Now regarding the assembly, I really like the Legion 5 Pro. There's no sharp edges where the bottom cover connects to the side panels. It's just very well put together. The top cover is a lot more solid and sturdy compared to the top cover on the HP Omen. There are some catchy edges around the HP Omen here where things connect and settle into the side panel. So if I was going off build quality alone, I would lean towards the Legion 5 Pro. Now regarding the audio experience of each of these laptops, here's a quick sample of the speakers with some music. Now, as we're heading into the performance benchmarks, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of either of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Starting off with the simulated benchmarks, we're gonna take a look at Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core.
As we move into Autodesk 3ds Max, do note that this laptop does come with the RTX 3070, where this laptop comes with the 3060. So you're gonna see better performance in 3D modeling out of the Legion 5 Pro by quite a bit, especially if we're looking at Autodesk Maya. It really dominates in Autodesk Maya. So that extra two gigs of GPU VRAM is really helping out this Legion 5 Pro. Moving on to After Effects, however, they lean back in, become more neck and neck in the competition. So really either laptop would be great for your general After Effects work and rendering work. Moving into video editing, the export times from 1080p all the way up to 6K are coming up on the screen. And each of those is a nine minute clip exported out of Premiere Pro. Moving on to the playback, both handled 4K without any drop frames. B-Raw was good, and then Red Footed struggled on both of them. As far as DaVinci Resolve was concerned, you can see both are neck and neck, so really either laptop will be great, has solid playback, and good export times out of DaVinci Resolve. One test I've been really enjoying is video editing at different fan modes. So what I do is I put the laptop through export at a different fan mode to check the fan noise, thermals, and export time, and here are the results of each laptop. Moving on to Photoshop, you can see that the HP Omen optimizes the Ryzen processor a little bit better. Remember, GPU does not come into play as much in Photoshop, so really, as far as Photoshop is concerned, you're gonna get a bit more performance out of the HP Omen, but honestly, not a ton more. That 788 is plenty of performance for the Adobe Design Suite, and also for using Affinity, Sketch, Figma, whatever it might be. As you can see, the thermal results are better on the Legion 5 Pro. We get better airflow through the chassis, which lowers the thermals. Now there are some great performance coming out of the HP Omen and also some fantastic benefits with that SD card slot. So really the choice is yours. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video. Now let me ask you, Sonny Boy, which one sucks and which one is great? Because I know you got an opinion and you want a fanboy over one of them. So comment below to help the community. Vote, vote, vote. Your votes count. Your votes matter on this here head-to-head -head battle. All right, thanks, Sonny. Or daughtery. <laughs>